three others, Chairwoman Duke or Cranford. Uh, I don't know if I can be as eloquent as the form speaker. <laughs> oh, I'm um, sure you can. Uh, I'll give it a go. I really will. Uh, I'd like to revisit um, the meeting on November 14th, where Mr. Hudak uh, was personally offended at how I spoke to Ms. Carter in some emails, uh, a conversation that I understood to be personal between you and me uh, in emails, and possibly involving the county manager. I didn't know it was involving Mr. Kudak. Um, and that, um, that I questioned Freehold uh, Chairwoman Carter's uh, character in those emails. Um, well, if asking her if she believed in open government and transparency is calling into question her character, then I do stand convicted. Um, but I don't believe I did that. I want to set the record straight. There was a series of maybe 8, 10, 12 emails. I have every copy of them um, where I thought I was having a conversation, a give and take, where it was very polite, where you, answer, you asked a question. I asked a question, you would give me an answer. Sometimes most of the answers were, have a nice day or have a good evening. Um, all I was looking for were the answers to what the costs were for the Galloping Hill Country Club uh, that we were promised in one of the meetings by County Manager Fiella. Uh, yes, Mr. Fiella did have his secretary or assistant answer one of the emails um, where she enumerated the cost of the building. She didn't enumerate all of the soft costs that went into building the country club. That's what I was looking for. And you asked me to clarify that. I did clarify that in one of the emails and gave you a copy of what I'm holding in my hand, a list of 25 line items that I was looking for you and the county manager to put your heads together and give the county uh, taxpayers the answer to of what is the total cost of expenditures um, for the Galloping Hill Country Club. I never received that, the taxpayers never received it. Um, so I, I am a little offended myself, Ms. Carter, that um, rather than answering any of my emails directly, you forwarded them to the county manager, leading me to believe that eventually I will be getting an answer. And then continuing the back and forth of me saying, next week am I going to get an answer? The following week am I going to get an answer? And I never got an answer. Just like this evening when you were asked point blank, what monies are you accepting in the way of the health care buyout? Um, uh, I'm sorry? Opt the opt-out. And you will not answer. I'm asking for the costs, and you would not answer them. I'm still asking for it. Can I have those answers to the costs? But I am offended that you should employ Vice Chair Hudak to act as a bully in the last meeting. And you know what a bully is. You are a teacher. And I'm absolutely incensed that you would employ a bully to take unfair advantage in, to a speaker who cannot get up here and defend himself by having to listen to a tirade from that dais. So uh, I do question your character now. But I still want the answers, and I think the taxpayers want the answers. First of all, I don't employ anyone, um, especially no one that's sitting up here behind me who's been elected by the citizens of Union County. Number two, and if you will recall, yes, we did go in the back and forth with those emails. And one thing that I did state was the fact that one of the emails is there's something, there is something that was missing. And if I could meet with you before one of the meetings, and that was the meeting that you came up and blasted, and that's all I said, is I asked to meet for beforehand, I came out here, you were not here, you came and blasted. And then you left the room because of the fact that the way that you came up and actually addressed the situation. Yes, I am for open government. And again, if you'd like, we can speak about it, but I'm not going to do an email back and forth because somewhere there was, if something was missing, we were either speaking over, under, between each other, and making sure that you get the information that you were requesting. 
unfortunately, you've taken a certain position on it to say that I'm not providing you with the information. I can't help the position that you take. I'm trying to get you any information that you may need. So I did make a request to speak to you before. Excuse me, do not get back up to the microphone. I'm not, I'm not giving the, the clerk the, okay. the questions that I've asked. You Again, yield, any, and ask anyone else like to speak before us at this time, before. please feel free. But no Otherwise, you can leave, Mr. Mr. Bittner. Mr. Bittner, please leave, because we're not going to be dealing with this. It's the last meeting of this year, granted, you're upset about something, that's fine, but you're not going to be disrespectful. Are you requiring me to leave? Yes, I am. I'm asking you to leave. Being thrown out? I'm asking you to just, leave. Just for asking the I'm questions. asking you to leave at this point because you're not going to talk. We're not going to do a back and forth. I wasn't. You started. Can you please leave? I went over to the Can clerk to give a leave? piece of paper to him. You believe? Nice way of giving the taxpayers what they want. Mr. Bittner, if you're not going to be disruptive, please feel free to stay. Go right ahead. Said. If you like, to, if you're not going to be disruptive no. in the way that you have, uh, then please feel free to stay. Go, you can go right ahead because your time is about to start. 